when you die. But as many of those are young people in there. So if you're living your day, thank God for that. One more day of life. You make it. You'll be all right. Numbers chapter 16, please. Numbers chapter 16. And we'll begin at verse number 46. And Moses said unto Aaron, Take a censer, take a censer and put fire therein put for fire the altar, therein. and put on incense. He said, put on incense. And go quickly mm -hmm. unto the congregation. Everyone, this is a crude example of what a censer would look like. It's about 40 years old, but it was held, and it was carried, and there were incense in the cups, and it would uh, give a great wonderful cloud of, of smoke. And it was calamus, frankincense, and myrrh, all mixed up in one to produce that effect. Read on, please. And go quickly unto the congregation yes. and make an atonement for them. All right. For there is wrath gone out from the Lord. Yes. The plague is begun. The plague has begun. Read on, please. And Aaron took as Moses commanded and ran into the midst of the congregation. And behold, the plague was begun among the people. Oh, yes. And he put on incense, incense and made an atonement, made for, atonement the for the people. And he stood between yes. the dead and the, living, and the living, and the plague was stayed. 49. Now, now they that died in the plague yes. were 14,700, beside them that died about the matter of Korah. I thought this morning, dead or alive? If you read the narrative sense of God, the people decided to turn their backs on God. And when that's done, that can cause problems in every case. We know that. And Moses and Aaron, like the word of the Spirit, were called on to, amen, make a sacrifice, to pray for the people. Because there was a plague going out. And there's a plague going out today. You all know that. Amen. There's a plague in our land, saints of God. Yeah. A plague of homosexuality. Amen. 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 A plague of uh, allowing marijuana to become legalized in Michigan. That's a plague. You all know that. Amen. There's all types of health plagues. 30,000 people in hospitals giving bad medication or dying into the night. There's a plague new ones. We got a plague in the schools. Man. Plague in our social system. Man. Plague in our health system. Man. And plague maybe in this church right today. May God help us this morning. Yeah. So you know, when Moses had to be between the dead and the living. And in our homes, there are just some people. Those that are dead and those that are living. Brother in government, they may run shortage every day, but those, some are dead and some are living. Brother in this building this morning, some are dead and some are alive. Mm -hmm. And it's up to those who can pray to pray for those who are dead. Amen. Revelation chapter 8, verse 9. So say to God and friends, we gotta stop the plague like Moses did, like Aaron did. Because there's a plague of sin, thank you, God. Oh my God, mm -hmm. yes, sir. On your internet, pop-ups to do this and that. Amen. Social media trying to draw you in. It's so involved day after day. Yeah. The friend of mine said, Brother Moore, in my school, we always see it. Two girls kissing, holding hands in the hallway. Things have sure changed in the past 15 years. Amen? Amen. It's a different situation now. Brother, you can't imagine what's going on in schools today. Amen. The shock of it, just the brazenness of it, was shocking. So again, wherever we go in life, food market, highway, wherever we are, there's some that are dead, some that are alive. Amen. Some are in the active throes of death. Amen. That last uh, 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 action of the muscles where death is taken over almost with the time. Fight for life. Amen. Dead or alive. 
Read on, please. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea All right. and had life, had life died. Now, some people knew when they had life. There was a time when Christ was in their life so strong. They had to love their neighbors, rebuking sin, giving up the world, loving their enemies. But something happened where, where there was life, there's now death. They have a procedure that's called coma. You're not all the way alive, but you're not already dead. You're kind of in between. In fact, Franklin, his daughter died, I think, about, what, four or five months ago? They kept him on life support almost five long years in Detroit. Coma. In between life and death. See, ready? Some today say to God, they're not all the way living, but not all the way dead. But unless they change, there'll be a death. Yeah. Unfortunately, in the past two months, I've had to preach five funerals. And they were all different. Some were saved, some were not. Amen. So some died twice. They died from Christ and had a natural death also too. But they were, they were all their friend. Because the one death is death. Yeah. You can't prop it up. You can't make it good because death is a serious thing. And when a person chooses to live for God, to give up the sin business, and then choose to go back on God, that is a spiritual what? Death. Do you remember in the garden, Genesis chapter 3, 2, I'm sorry. God said, now, when you eat the fruit of this tree of good and evil, you should do what? Die. Die. Now, Adam lived another, what, 600, 700 years, but they died spiritually. And when you see death, only Christ can bring life from death. You all know that. Because he came to give life. And that what more abundant. So some had life but lost it. Lost it. There's a fellow who's been dead about, oh, 12 years now. He and I talk directly. He has a job. Doing this and that. But you can hear the death in his voice. There's no life. There's no Christ there. And he sees, amen, his situation, but he can't get out of it. Death. Mm. Oh, death. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. So look at they had some life. They had some life. <clears throat> they had that joy. They had that peace. They had that long suffering. You know, then what I love. God's mercy, don't you? Yes, sir. Yes. And I love his long suffering to my little soul. But there's one thing I love about God, and that's the peace that God gives. Mm -hmm. Anybody love peace this morning? Amen. Amen. You know, there's something about peace. It does all understanding. It keeps your heart and mind in who back is. Peace is a good thing. And peace cannot come from a bottle, or a woman, or a TV program, or a website, or a pill, or an album, exercise. Peace comes from God. Amen. The Bible says he's the prince of what? Peace. Yeah. And he gives peace to whoever wants it. Whoever they are, he'll give it to you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. You have to be named Trump or Obama. You can have no name that give you peace. It passes. It keeps Amen. your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Amen, brother. Amen. A crowd this side needs some peace. Amen. There's some needs some peace this morning. Yes. Maybe in school, they're bullying you. Did you hear about the young girl? Bullying. And she was seven years old. And went home and hung herself. You heard about that. Then there's another young girl, about 13 years old. She was bullied. Put her out of school. Since she had a mental problem and got her into a, 
I said it's not. There's a plague of bullying, Amen. plague of addiction, Amen. plague of sexuality, Amen. a plague of lust. There was a time when sexuality was in the corner. Right. It was in the dark in the back. And now they have uh, coming out great. That's a that's a tap subway. He's coming out. They, she's coming out. Hmm. And now they have transvestitism. You can change your sexuality. Brother, we are under a plague. The Lord help us to pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, when you pray for your children, do you know they are in this kind of The devil's after your children. Amen. Amen. Now, I'm going to tell you something. My mother and father prayed for me. Yes, but yes. they began to see signs of me going off. Yes. They would say, son, what are those little birds in your clothes? Mm. Why are your eyes red? Uh, why are you walking so funny? The devil is trying to destroy my life. Yeah. The devil hates you because you are more that. Yes. 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 He wants to get him in jail. Yes. Or yes. drugs, whatever. Yes. He hates God's people. Yes. He yes. hates the children. Yes. Yes. And if you and I don't pray, my God. God. Yes. God. trespasses and sin. Yeah. Before I was saved, when I felt dead, you all know that. Amen. When a man dies, he changes the body functions, change. Yes. The skin begins to dry out. Amen. It begins to crack. Amen. When folks begin to die, they begin to dry up in their soul. Amen. They begin to crack and divide and call splits. Amen. They're splitting and cracking because they're in the throes of death. My God. They, they begin to turn a dark color because there's no life. Amen. Then they begin to breathe that last breath, draw for breath. The life of Christ, Holy Ghost, is gone. And that last breath is it. Death. Oh. So read the last part, please. Read on. And you hath he quickened, quickened. Who were dead in trespasses and sins. Who were dead. Thank God we're dead. Ain't that right? Amen. Christ. If you're saved this morning, you're alive. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory. You got your sight. Amen. You can see. Yeah. Yes. Amen. You got faith in your soul. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You get a prayer through. Thank God for that. Amen. Praise God. You're alive by the power of Christ. Thank God. So we have some death. 
and some lie. Yes. But I thank God for life, don't you? Amen. Amen. Yeah, when I thank God for one more day of living, Amen. one more 24 hours, true, true. because tomorrow's gone, isn't that right? Yes, sir. And yesterday we don't know, but we got right Amen. now. Same today. Amen. Sanctified today. Oh, thank God today. You need to live a life, a life full, thank God. Amen. Amen. Listen, people say, he lived a full life. What do you mean? He had an education, and he had a business, wife and family. That's good, but a full life is a full life in the power of Christ. You are the man. Living in the fullness of God. Yes. My God. When you gave up the sin business. Amen. And Amen. sin is a business. You all know that. Amen. Amen. I've got Amen. a scar here from sin. A scar here from sin. A scar there from sin. So it costs to sin. It, oh, no, it's not free. Sin is not free. No. The wages of sin. of sin is what? Yeah. That's the cost of it. Yeah. Yeah. But in Christ we have life and that more abundantly. Yes. Yes. But yes, we have neighbors I, 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 that are dead. Yes, sir. We have relatives. I called a couple of them last week. They're dead. Man. Uncles and aunts. They're dead. Man. Friends of mine whom I love immensely. They are dead. You know what? And so either we are alive or dead. Listen. If you went to hell and asked any one of them, what would you want? They would say, one more chance. Yeah, yeah. Some right here in this room had life. But they gave up God. You remember him? I'm going to say his name. I met him at the Salvation Army. He's about six foot four. Came in, got saved, was around for about a year. But he felt to move and leave town. No church, no support. And he got back on crack cocaine. He cracked up his money, got up in the morning, I'm not to hang some clothes up, but he didn't know. His time My was God. just about up. My Lord. He couldn't insist that this angel was knocking at his door that morning. Mm -hmm. He didn't know that death is right here, side by side, son. Oh, Turned up those clothes and dropped gay. Mm -hmm. He could have still been here, enjoying life. But if I could talk to him, Communicate one more time. Look, if I had one more time, Amen. Yes. if I just had 10 more minutes, yes, Lord. but it's gone, it's over, your life is done. Yes. Lord, yes. help us this morning to realize that. Amen. You don't have one life, you all know that. Amen. Only one. Amen. Only one life. And the money went, and many of us, I passed halfway, I'm getting that right on most. Amen. So if I give you three score and ten, I'm 65 years old almost. Do the numbers, about eight more years, theoretically. Give my dollars a time. It's going to move for God, now's the time. Amen, amen. Because tomorrow, we don't know. Yesterday's gone, all we have is right now. Amen. People don't believe that. They don't believe that. They are sure tomorrow's going to be here. Yes. They're sure I'll be all right. But you know, that's not true. Amen. Amen. It's appointed unto man. Are you listening? What's the one? After that, what? Judge. You listen, you say amen. 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 Yes, yes, yes. 1 Corinthians 5 22. So, yes, we go to the market. Remember, both of them are dead. My Lord. Walking death. Some are alive, but not many. Because the Bible says, many are called, few are chosen, strange the gate, and few, what? If you do what find it. So we go to the market, remember, dead. We go to the mall, dead. And maybe this morning, we have some that are alive, and some that are dead. My God. All right? 15, 2, 2. First Corinthians, get on, please. Oh, sorry, I was at 5. No problem. First Corinthians 15, 22. Yes, ma'am. 
For as in Adam all die, yeah. even so in Christ shall all be made alive. And as they all die, they were born in sin and chosen. But in Christ they made what? Alive. alive. Thank God. Alive. Amen. And free. Alive and free. Isn't that nice? Alive and free. Amen. So she'll make you free. You're free to be living a life free from sin. See, thanks to God and friends, sin brings death. Yes, 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 yes. It, it brings it. That's part and package of it. Whether it's a little sin, a big sin, it's still sin. I can justify it. I can, I can, amen, clean it up, but it still has a death part of it. But thank God through Christ, we're made what? Alive. I suppose this morning, if I was to say, what would you want? Death or life? We would all say life. Amen. Amen. Even the person who commits suicide, they don't really want to die, but they are so pressed true. and so troubled true, true, true. and so down that they think death is a and escape. Sick. That's right. That's right. I worked for suicide prevention as a volunteer for about five years. And there were certain signs to those uh, thinking about suicide. They were just trying to find relief. And when Christ has a relief, whatever it is, there's a relief in Christ. Home situation, financial situation, church situation, whatever it might be, there's a relief in Christ. He's able to do that because he can bear the burden. And this morning, we crowd this size, some, I'm sure, a burden. But I thank God he's a burden bearer. Amen. Amen. That I will keep in perfect peace as mine is staying yes. on me. Amen. So this morning, yes. Well, yes. I would hope that we all leave here alive. Amen. All together alive. Oh. Not how many times. God. Amen. Not unsure to leave alive. Yes. And I, I spoke about the Lord. What would you give to see men saved? I thought about that. I said, Lord, what must I give mm -hmm. to see more people saved? What must? What can I do? What can I sacrifice? Mm -hmm. Would you give a finger, mm -hmm. an arm? I said, people got to ask for that. But then one, when Aaron, he said, look, he said, look, Aaron, get the censor. Go among the people and take it around so we can slow this play down. The devil got to be slowed down. You all know that. Yeah. He's on your trail. On your, he got to be slowed down. Back up and stop. What's going to do it? It's prayer. Amen. Not complaining. Prayer. prayer. Not getting back. Prayer. Not getting a lawyer, prayer. Yes. Not backsliding, prayer. Amen. Not getting a coup, prayer. Not dividing, uh, tearing up, tearing up, prayer. Amen. Prayer. And the Bible says the play stayed, stopped. Mm -hmm. Although 14,000 died, mm -hmm. unfortunately. And some might die here, unfortunately. Oh, Lord. But that's a choice people make. Up to you. You can live. Amen. Like the, like the patriarchs of the Old Testament. I said before you, Lord life Jesus. or death. My God. Which one? Right. Which one? From now on, forget about yesterday. From now on, which one? Today. Amen. Forget about tomorrow, which one? Today. We have today and we have life. Choose life, thank God. Amen. Choose Christ, praise the Lord. Thank God. Thank God. Let's stand this morning for a moment of prayer. And I am sure that God will help us.